hello in this video i am going to explain you t test one sample t test well let me tell you that one sample t test is for single population or maybe single sample the assumption is that the sample on which we are performing the one sample t test is drawn from population which follows normal distribution i will clarify this in one example the hypothesis statement or h0 and h1 for this is mu is equal to a specific value mu not versus mu not equal to a value mu not or maybe mu greater than mu not mu less than mu not likewise kind of it may be two tailed one tailed or anything kind of test the test statistic states that it's x minus mu mu not basically divided by s upon under root of n now this test statistic follows a t distribution basically see population means x follows normal distribution and test statistic follows t distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom where anyway these are the things where x bar is the sample mean s is uh, standard deviation sample standard deviation and the other things as sample size and the considered population mean let's take one example that we have got some readings from some plants weights of plants and uh, let's see the data first so here i am importing the data set this is the data let's look at this data set following is the data set with different values of weights we are going to keep aside this group variable for now now our hypothesis is that the population of this is basically a sample well this sample is of size 30 well our hypothesis is that the mean of the population of this sample is some number that is 6 so considering this we we first of all state one hypothesis whether it is 6 or whether it is not equal to 6 okay so mu equal to 6 over here 6 will be the hypothesized mean and we'll be finding x bar that is mean standard deviation and other things from the sample and hence we'll be calculating the test statistic of it now the calculated test statistic seems to be minus 7.241 and uh, you see this is the t graph t uh, distribution graph roughly speaking <clears throat> hence this being our value let's consider the graph of t distribution so we may expect it to be this kind of curve well so say this is t distribution basically this is t distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom n over here is basically 30 so n minus 1 degrees of freedom will be 29 well what we do is we locate we locate this particular figure 
on this particular graph say this figure is minus 7.24 so this figure can be located somewhere here what we do is we find the p value as area under the curve you see as you see we have a two tailed hypothesis over here mu is equal to 6 versus mu not equal to 6 for the two tailed hypothesis we will be requiring to find we will be we will be finding the value as two tailed value so not just one tail will be finding area under the curve at both the tails okay there is a two tailed p value which we find for the two tailed hypothesis we can directly do it by one python function let's see that you will find over here i have used one function from stats module stats module i have imported from scipy and scipy dot stats dot p test underscore one sam i have specified over here the weight and also the hypothesized mean and hence what we get is the test statistic is the test statistic as well as the p value let us see that test statistic and the p value you have got this test statistic as you see and this has the p value p value seems to be 5.66 into 10 raised to minus 8 which is quite less than 0.05 hence we can reject h0 we can reject h0 means in the sense that actually what is h0 h0 is mu is equal to 6 hence we can say that mu is not equal to 6 at 5% level of significance not just that at 1% level of significance also considering this result you may also think of having the hypothesis one tailed one tailed hypothesis say now we can we can have a one tailed hypothesis in the following way maybe that uh, mu is greater than 6 greater than or equal to 6 versus mu is less than 6 this is a this is a lower tail test which we are we are performing now our one sam one sam that is a t test underscore one sam function doesn't have a direct option hence for finding actually the the p value of one tailed we require to divide the p value by two as you see over here that i have obtained this p value with this this is the second value that's why the square bracket one has been given and then the one tailed p value i have obtained and hence we can reject h naught with uh, five percent or even one percent level of significance looking at the p value so thank you for watching this video if you like this video please don't forget to press the like button and for latest updates from me please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you